Hey guys, Carl here again. Uh, last video I did, it was a pretty long one. Don't worry, this one's not going to be quite as long. Um, but in the last video, I covered my entire Hobie Pro Angler and everything on it, including the new hatch job that I did. Um, today, um, I wanted to talk about uh, another part of it. Um, I actually covered it on the last video. Remember last time I said that, uh, that I really wanted my, uh, my kayak to be a really modular uh, system to where things could be taken off, added on, um, just completely be adapted to whatever my uh, situ fishing situation was going to be. Um, so today I just want to show you uh, what I was talking about. I'm going to zoom in here real quick um, on my uh, bay tank slash slide wheel that we covered the last time and uh, show you what I'm talking about. Alright, you guys remember this from the last video. Um, I covered the live well in, in the bay tank. Um, and when I was talking about making this a modular system, this live well um, in and of itself is its own self contained unit. Um, the battery, the switches, the pump, the light, everything is completely contained in the unit itself. And I use this on the, on the big lakes and stuff when I'm doing a lot of trolling, um, when I'm planning on keeping fish, uh, white bass crappie, whatever, um, I use this a lot. Um, I just recently finished up a, another addition to the system. Uh, this is going to be for um, basically all bass ponds, um, rivers, stuff like that to where I don't really need the live well. And I'm doing a lot of catch and release, you know, or if I'm just, uh, just going on a quick run somewhere to, to do a little prospect fishing or something like that. So I'm um, so going to break this down for you real quick and show you how easy this is. Like I said, this is a completely self-contained unit. And I've got brass uh, buckles right here. Let's get this closer. Now we've got our clean deck, nothing here, um, and so I'm going to show you the, the crate and rod holder setup that I made for this. The first thing I'll do is I'll just work these little rubber covers out. This is a crate that I had. Um, I had this out in my big boat, and it was in the house before. And honestly, I can't even remember where I got it. Um, this thing actually, it's, it's one of those, uh, it, it, it folds down flat. It's hinged, all four sides are hinged and it unsnaps and it'll actually fold up. Uh, yeah, that pushes in. See, I've never even folded it up before, but you can see these sides, all the sides do this, they all come down, and it folds up flat. But um, I'm just going to leave it together because I have no reason to uh, fold it up. But anyway, it's a good size, it's about, uh, let's see, it's a uh, 15 3 quarter wide by, oh, 23 and a half long. And um, I had to do a little bit of modifying on this to get it to fit in the, uh, the well of the Hobie. 
um, I had to do a little bit of a round over right here, a little bit of grinding with my side grinder with a sand wheel on it. I had to do that on both sides. You can see the bottom here. This is that AZAC material you always hear me talking about. I had left over from my house. It's the PVC material. Um, I put stainless steel screws uh, through the floor and uh, fastened those on. And what that does is it just allows this crate to sit up off the floor just a little bit more and it's going to keep the bottom of things drier if I've got any bags or anything in there. Um, but you can see it's full of holes so obviously stuff's going to drain. Um, but anyway, that's that. So we drop it in like so and I can just uh, have that crate there if I wanted to um, but I'm a rod holder guy so Here's the setup that I built. <clears throat> Inch and a quarter PVC. Some little custom bins you can see there and there. I built these the same way that I did all the ones prior to this. Um, heat gun, wine bottle, and then uh, cut out the notches for the rods, for the reels to sit and lock into place. These long ones here, they're going to drop into my existing rod holders on the Hobie. That's it. It's in there. Oh great, my battery's about to go dead. I had this camera out in my truck, and uh, I don't know if you look outside, yeah, we got snow on the ground, so it's cold. A couple more weeks, the weather will be breaking, I'm hoping. Anyway, so here's the system here. Everything's in. This thing is solid. Um, whenever I glued all this up, um, I put just a little bit of opposing tension from side to side, so it doesn't just free drop in there. There's a, you, you got to you got to torque it in just a touch just to get it to in and it creates a nice snug fit and also what I'm going to add on you know I've got these existing hooks right here that my other bait tank hooks to I'm just going to run a piece of bungee with a knot on this side with a hook straight to there and um, that'll be that um, or actually another way I could do it to hold everything down is I could go uh, with a bungee hook from here over the top of the rod holder over the top of the crate through this hole and then back down to that hook. Do that on both sides and everything's going to stay. Nothing will move. Um, actually that might be what I end up doing. But anyway, like I said, this crate's huge. Um, I'll show you what all it holds. Keep <clears throat> a lot back in there. These are just a few things I have out. Throw my lunchbox in there. Got a dry box here. And hooks, lead weight. That there. And here's your whole stack of boxes. And they just fit, I mean, nice. They fit really nice in there. A couple smaller boxes to throw in there. Um, and then there's room to spare. And you know, that's just that stuff. I mean, you can throw anything you want in there. Um, you know, it's uh, like I said, this kayak was designed to be a modular system. Um, so now I've gone from Bay Tank Live Well to uh, just a simple, simple crate with a, a lot of rod holders on there. I got six, six rod holders on there. System. Um, so uh, that's that. And uh, oh, something else you could do, I guess, if you wanted to, if you were really going bare bones.
that's the whole reason I, I didn't uh, attach my rod holders to my crate. So if I wanted to just have my rod holders in there and uh, my bag of goodies, you know, there you go. You know, how, just how you want to do it. You know, just, uh, the possibilities are endless with these things. So, anyway, that's it. This battery is about to uh, bite the dust on me. So, if you guys have any questions, comments, post them below. See ya.